Banana plants are often mistaken for trees or palms. They are actually herbs. The banana is a perennial plant that replaces itself. Bananas do not grow from a seed, but from a bulb or ism, and it takes 9 to 12 months from sowing a banana bulb to harvesting the fruit. The banana flower appears in the 6th or 7th month. Unlike other fruit like apples which have a growing season, bananas are available all year round. Banana plants thrive in tropical regions, where the average temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and the yearly rainfall is between 78 and 98 inches. Most bananas exported are grown within 30 degrees either side of the equator. The plants need rich, dark and fertile soils with steady moisture in the air, and ground and good drainage. Some horticulturists believe that bananas were the first fruit on earth. Their origin is placed in Southeast Asia, in the jungles of Malaysia, Indonesia or the Philippines where many varieties of wild bananas still grow today. Africans are credited to have given the present name, since the word banana would be derived from the Arab for finger. Bananas started to be traded internationally by the end of the 14th century. The development of railroads and technological advances in refrigerated maritime transport subsequently enable bananas to become the most traded fruit in the world. Bananas are grown in more than 150 countries, and 105 million tons of fruit are produced each year. Bananas which are grown for local consumption are generally grown in traditionally extensive systems. The dessert banana, like the Cavendish variety, are of huge economic importance to many countries in the global south, and they account for 43 million tons. And the plantain account for 45 million tons. Locally consumed bananas are a staple food in many tropical countries, and play a major role in terms of food security. Bananas constitute a significant portion of the export revenues for many Latin American and Caribbean countries. For example, banana exports account for a quarter of Ecuador's total non-petroleum exports, and Ecuador accounts for around 30% of world banana market supply. According to the FAO and the Ecuador government, the banana industry generates about 2 million direct and indirect jobs in the country. At the height of the Windward Islands industry, it was estimated that up to 60 cents in every dollar circulating in the fragile island economy of Dominica were generated by banana production. They are an essential source of income and employment for many households, as well as being a source of nutrition and food security for more than 400 million people in producer countries. However, only 15 to 20 percent of the world's banana production is traded internationally. The largest producer India exports almost nothing, whilst Brazil exports very little, keeping bananas for the domestic market. Bananas are also emblematic of the growing power of supermarkets along global supply chains, and of the wide range of injustices present in international trade today, including unacceptable working and living conditions for many who grow and harvest the bananas, the suppression of independent trade unions, and an unfair sharing of profits along the chain. There are also failures to respect decent health and safety standards, and the evidence of the devastation caused to human health and the natural environment by toxic chemicals and intensive monoculture plantation production is increasingly evident. Some scientists believe that the latest disease threat to the industry from Fusarium TR4 is caused by a failure to manage soil properly. After nine months, the bananas are harvested while still green. At the packhouse they are inspected and sorted for export. Buyers of fruit in the UK want unbruised bananas, and so very high standards are set. If the bananas do not meet these standards they are usually sold locally at a much lower price. The fruit is then transported to ports to be packed in refrigerated ships called reefers. In order to increase shelf life, they are transported at a temperature of 13.3 degrees centigrade and require careful handling in order to prevent damage. Humidity, ventilation and temperature conditions are also carefully monitored in order to maintain quality. When the bananas arrive at their destination port they are first sent to ripening rooms, a process involving ethylene gas, and then sent to the shops. Banana plantations are predominantly found in Latin America. They require huge investment in infrastructure and technology for transport, irrigation, drainage and packing facilities. On the other hand, in the Eastern Caribbean, farmers tend to use smallholder production. This system is less capital intensive and more labor intensive and is present because the physical features of the area mean it is not possible to use the plantation system. Typically, Central American bananas are grown on large-scale monoculture plantations covering several hundred hectares each. This form of production uses high levels of chemical inputs to increase crop yield. Labor conditions can be very poor, with workers required to work long hours for wages that are insufficient to meet basic needs. Rights of free association and collective bargaining are often denied, and union busting is common in the region. The large plantations are also frequently responsible for damaging environmental impacts. Ecuador, Colombia and Peru are the only countries among the major Latin American exporters that still have small banana farmers exporting alongside the large-scale plantations. The small-scale producers are often forced to sell their produce at a loss. Growing bananas is, in general, labor-intensive. 
It involves clearing jungle growth, propping of the plants to counter bending from the weight of the growing fruit, and irrigation in some regions. As well as an intensive use of pesticides, the conventional production process involves covering banana bunches with polyethylene bags to protect them from wind, insect and bird attacks, and to maintain optimum temperatures. Bananas and other tropical fruit like pineapples are grown in the tropical regions of Africa, Latin America, the Caribbean, and the Pacific. Most tropical fruit available in British supermarkets is exported from Latin America, the Caribbean and West Africa. Why Bananas Matter? Bananas are one of the most consumed and cheapest fruits worldwide. They are the most traded fruit and the fifth most traded agricultural product. The global export value of the banana trade was estimated to be US $8 billion in 2016, with a retail value between $20 and $25 billion. How do bananas grow and end up in the store? Here is the recap. First banana production takes approximately 9 months. It starts with preparation of the soil including the clearing of land, drainage installation and fertilizer application. Then planting and field work, such as weeding, pest and diseases controls and irrigation, take place. Bananas are harvested while green. Harvesting bunches are transported to a packing shed where they are divided into smaller market-friendly bunches, inspected, sorted, washed, treated, labeled and boxed for export. Bananas that do not meet the quality standards are usually sold locally at much lower price or used for livestock feed. Some bananas are pre-packed into bags, according to the specifications of individual retailers. Pre-packing is used to differentiate bananas from the bulk supply of loose bananas. It can be an opportunity for the grow to add value, but it also offers advantages in controlling quality and reducing wastage. Bananas are then transported by truck to ports, placed in shed, and packed in refrigerated ships or refrigerated containers. Bananas take between 6 and 12 days to get to the market usually. They are shipped at a controlled temperature of 13.3 Celsius in order to increase their shelf life, humidity and monitored to maintain quality. When the bananas arrives at their destination port, they are first trucked to warehouses where they can be kept in cool conditions and then ripened, using ethylene gas when they are needed for delivery to retail stores. Bananas may also be put into bags at this stage. They then delivered to retailers' regional distribution centers before final deliver to individual stores. Bananas are a staple starch for many tropical populations. Depending upon cultivar and ripeness, the flesh can vary in taste from starchy to sweet and texture from firm to mushy. Both the skin and inner part can be eaten raw or cooked. In Asia, bananas are eaten deep fried, baked in their skin in a split bamboo, or steamed in glutinous rice wrapped in a banana leaf. Bananas can be made into fruit preserves. Banana pancakes are popular among travelers in South Asia and Southeast Asia. This has elicited the expression banana pancake trail for those places in Asia that cater to these travelers. Banana chips are a snack produced from sliced dehydrated or fried banana or plantain, which have a dark brown color and an intense banana taste. Dried bananas are also ground to make banana flour. 